Since you are watching this video, I guess your computer is running with an issue here as you are trying to open a program you have recently installed, this error arrived. This is also known as environmental 110 DLL missing error. It's a very common issue and all you need to do is watch this video till the end and follow that method on your computer. Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Evolution. In this very short video, I will be fixing this error within 3 minutes. So let's start the countdown. The first thing you need to do is open your favorite browser and search for the entire file name .dll. You can choose any result you want. I'm choosing the first one. This is not sponsored, but I'll put the link in the description. Here you can see a few download options based on the architecture and version. To know your computer architecture and version, click on Start and Search for System Information. Here you can see my new 64-bit PC and I'm updated to the recent Windows update so I'll be downloading the top 64-bit one and in this case this is the second one. I strongly recommend you to read this page, it has multiple fixing methods also. As the download completes, hit open. I you can see two files, one is the DLL, other one is readme. Now to place the DLL, open this PC, then local DXC, then Windows and find the folder name System32. This is the home of 32-bit DLLs. Then click on the downloaded GIF, drag the DLL and drop. I have already done this so they are asking me to replace. And click on continue to give administrator access. Before we go ahead, let's check. By typing the file name, you can see the file is properly placed in the 32-bit DLL folder. So job is done for 32-bit users. Only if you are a 64-bit users like me, open this PC. Then local DC, Windows and find a folder name syswall64 this is the home of 64-bit dls then click on the downloaded gif and same again drag and drop check this once again yeah the file is also popular we placed in a 64-bit folder and finally restart your computer. In extremely rare cases, if the error still occurs, you need to download and install Microsoft Visual C++ Redistributable and install your program again and that will surely do it. And that's all. If you follow me step by steps, you will no longer have that problems left. Please let me know how you feel about this video. And do not forget to like and subscribe.